Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with my challenge to complete Aberration and Ark Survival Evolved. We previously managed to tame ourselves a Parasaur and we've got an imprinted pack of Raptors as well. And we're going to make our journey to the new base location. And I suppose technically speaking I could have spawned out to where I want to get to right now. But I think it would have been a lot more difficult and... I just wanted to utilize this area for its resources. They're a little bit easier to get to. This giant rock here has a little bit of metal and crystal and it's managed to get us started. And when we spawned in, we spawned in at Fertile Lake 1 and I've pretty much utilized what I'm calling the Lake Road to get our tames. There's a lot of high ground there that we can kind of hide behind and I find it a little bit easier. We've grabbed what metal we can and we're now heading down the river to where the blue zone begins. There's some metal there and then when we've grabbed that I'm going to head to our base location. So I'll try not to put too many cuts in the video because one of the things I find with aberration is I can't really give you coordinates of my location and the map is elevated so sometimes it's kind of a little bit hard to describe where you are on the map but when you get used to it it does make a lot of sense. So there's the rock behind us that's pretty distinctive and that's generally a, a good source of early metal. Now I did think about where I want to set up and I do want to be quite close to the blue zone so the place I have in mind is extremely central. It's got a lot of metal and yeah I think it's going to be worth setting up base and fortifying our positions there. Now I know I've had a few comments saying that there is some metal around the portal area as well. In fact there's a little island just near where one of the caves are. Just get these raptors here. And that has some metal and some essential resources around there. But it's right at the back of the map and where I'm planning to get to. Just getting that raptor. Looks like there's another one just coming across the river there. Leave that to our raptor pack. So yeah, I think setting up back there, it just puts us further away from where we need to be. And I find Aberration is kind of a more linear map in the sense that you start in the fertile zone, you get to the blue zone, and then you need bits to get into the red zone. So it comes in stages, so I want to be right next to the blue zone, and we can get plenty of metal where I'm heading. So I'm just following the river, which runs out of the lake, and... When we get to the bottom there, there is some metal we can just gather. We'll top up Lee Gate and then we'll head to our new base location from there. Okay, I'll just leave Lee Gate here for a sec because we're going to continue up there in front of us keeping the bioluminescent zone on our left hand side just at the bottom here some rich metal nodes there's a load more actually to our left but I don't think Legate can carry much more than we have we're pretty much carrying our entire base on him at the moment but yeah we just grab this we're gonna need some more metal and some ammunition so we may as well just get forging it while we're here, just across the river as well as a place we can place the gas pods down, but I need to get some red gems. I hate doing this without an Argent. It's only a level 5, so it should only take like the one fish. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've got ourselves an Aberrant Otter. Figured we may as well grab it. I mean, for the most part, I'm going to be using the light pets, but 
as I'm sure you're aware, they are useful for grabbing artifacts. And it'll certainly come in handy when we do the caves. So we'll go for the patron naming rights tier and Cat's Devil. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. I know you've been a long time supporter on Patreon now. So we finally managed to get you an in-game name. Now, I don't have any cryopods. And that's the next thing we really need to get. Cryopods will really change the game for us. Okay. Cat's Devil should be safe enough on Lee Gate there. And I'm pretty much carrying as much as we can. Just had to drop a little bit of pelt. So we're just going to continue on this path. Now there is a river just running on our right hand side. But I'd rather stick to the pathway. There's a lot of Spinos and Kukanos in that river. So we'll just keep to the side of it. Keeping the bioluminescent part of the map on our left hand side. And where are all the raptors? Here they are. And this way, I can get to where I want to be. Now, we want to come across the map until we get to the next river. And just around that zone, well, there's going to be plenty of resources for us. But definitely, before the end of the day, I want to be able to get some cryopods. So I'm keeping an eye out for any loot crates. As soon as I get one, we have everything we need to be able to make some. grab that. Unfortunately every time I stop to whack something we drop Cat's Devil. Might as well just grab the scrap. Okay. Bill you just stay there. We're nearly where we need to be. And just take your follow. This hasn't been too bad a method to get about, to be honest, the Ravenger packs and the Raptor packs, they can't pull us off the Plesiosaur, so it's actually worked out actually quite well. Okay, so here we are. So this is where the other river lives, leads out into the blue zone, and this is where I want to be. Just behind us, there's a pathway going down into that zone. And along that path, there's lots of metal and blue crystal. Yeah, I wasn't quite confident enough to spawn in this area. I just wanted to utilize Fertile Lake 1 before we headed down out here because there is a lot of bad stuff around here. over here. Oh no. Lee Gate, you just squashed an otter. There you go, yeah. Look like a pack of ravengers here and like I say, we're making short work of them all. They can't get to us. And as you see once our raptors get in there as well. It might be slow going but It's certainly a lot easier than trying to do it just on the pack of raptors. And it looks like we've dropped Cat's Devil again. Get out of the way, Stego. It's been a long time since I've done a pack of raptors, to be honest with you. I don't really use them that much. Ravengers would have been much better. We could have got around the map a lot better on them. But that being said... Got a couple of reasonable level ones, got a basic imprint on them. We've got a pack of five, so Phil and Nikki, they've been pretty effective, that whole pack. Okay, just grab Cat's Devil. I will end up getting plenty of shoulder pets as well. I'll probably end up taming all of the light pets and... Just put some more weight on the gate. Yeah, he's happy about that. I like the way they dance around like this. Now, I do remember on my old server the last time I built 
on the back of a mount was on the Brontosaurus and I found that they moved around so much I didn't like it but this old method of just having the mobile smithy on the parasaur it's been ages since I've done one of these and yeah it really does it really does work and there's plenty of maps where the parasaur is available in fact I think it's on most of them so Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely served its purpose. Okay. okay, so this is the area. So there is a rock well note just down on my right hand side near that rock there. And this is where I'm planning on building. We have that natural walkway just leading up to this flat area here. We've got a charge station, which is not really essential. And the most important thing is there's some metal just across the river. We dropped Bill as well. It's okay, we'll stop losing our light pets as soon as we can get some cryopods. Well, that's an interesting lifestyle. Can't tell whether they're aberrant colours or the event colours. So yeah, we got the charge station, we need to do charge any batteries here, but there's just pretty much plenty of everything. Lots of fungal wood down there, lots of stone, metals just in front of us, and we are pretty much centre of the map, so we can get everywhere from here. Just get this Ravenger. Oh, that bleed. I think I might be missing one of the resources we need to be able to craft them. Oh, and it's only got 10 left on it, so it's it's about to disappear. Um, oh, I still need to learn them. What are we missing? We are missing oil. Need to grab some oil. We've got some of that, but we won't make we won't make it back in time. Just grab the lights. So we've got Kakanas that way, Ravengers that way. It's just death all around us. <laughs> and I've only got Nikki at the moment. Um, Spinos. She's overweight at the moment, so... I can't get away that fast. We're just up across the river here. I'll just have to catch the next loot drop that we see. Literally getting cryopods is a game changer. Oh, dismounted. That's okay. Okay, overweight. Again, it's the one thing about raptors, and I see you, Sarko. <laughs> This has been the game, actually, for quite a lot of it. <laughs> Constantly under attack. Just making a little bit of progress here and there. As soon as we get them cryopods, though, that's going to change... That's going to change things up quite a bit. Okay. Let's just head on back. Right. Just going to have to... Let's try and help out the trike. You really want to be using arrows against the Kakanas, but bullets are not that effective. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong button. Oh, it's okay. Raptors managed to get it. I'm not sure if it's if they're out of water, they can still dismount you, but they just pick you up off of a raptor and yeah. Okay, so this one's got plenty of time on it. So let's get some cryopods. Now this way, when I can grab a tame, I can actually get it back to our base location rather than having to 
walk it across the map like we have been doing. Uh, what we got here? So, Amphiprolora saddle. I never really tamed them. I've only ever tamed them the once, I think. They're pretty much a PvP mount. Let's get a bit more fibre. We're going to need some more crystal. I'll try and craft a couple of more. Is there some green gems over here? I know there was some just around the back. We need to go and just grab a little bit more crystal. And I think we'll be able to craft a couple more cryopods. Of course, we can't get to the obelisk. Which is out on the surface. It's a lot more difficult on this map, so... Fortunately, we can craft them in the loot. Right. Yeah, we get a little bit of crystal back from this. We need 24. There we go. That's plenty. Just drop this. Okay, so it looks like a Spino's guarding it now. Um, it's near level 35. I think we should be alright. And we've got plenty of time left on the loot crate. So it's 60. Um... I'm sure Phil and Nikki can handle it. We'll just try and get in round the back. Definitely doing some damage, but... Now it's running away. Now this is where we can run into trouble. The raptors just end up following it. I am trying, I'm trying my best, Bill and Nikki, to keep you alive. But this is why I bred so many of you. Okay. That's good. Just come back here. Where's Bill gone? Here he comes. Okay. So we'll just get a couple more cryopods. And this is really going to change things around for us. But yeah, like I say, when I first started the channel, my first upload was obviously the island part one. I started the channel based on completing this game and cryopods were not a thing back when I started this. And it really does change the whole way you play. Even just getting dinosaurs back to the base. I can't tell you the amount of times I tamed a max level T-Rex or... <coughs> creature, what was that, just to be heading on back to the base and for it to die to piranhas before I was able to get any levels on it and um, yeah it really has changed the way we play having the use of these cryopods, just being able to stick a dinosaur in your pocket and you know, I'm not saying I'm against it, I, I've come to love the quality of life that the cryopod brings but it it fundamentally changed everything about the game originally when i was going to go into the artifact of the strong cave i was going to breed allosauruses in there not just carry them in right let's get back to base should we go this way got over here looks like we got spinos there spino and a cacanus um I think we'll just go the long way round. Just really have to choose our battles carefully. As good as the raptors have been, we've just got to be cautious. Okay. Well, now we've got some cryopods. There was a dodic that I was trying to tame just over here before, but I managed to almost knock it out. Unfortunately, he'd been in a fight with some Ravagers before. Is it this one? No, it's too red. He'd been in a fight with some Ravagers before it and it had taken some damage. So once it's taken too much damage, they curl up into their ball and I couldn't knock it out. And I think this is it just here. So looks like it's healed up a bit. And now we've got some cryopods. A good level was it a 140? Um, 
just check it doesn't yeah, let's say it's still a little bit bloody it's at one four five one two five sorry okay that's good enough oh shine horn and we do need some utility dinosaurs I don't have a magnifying glass but I suspect there you go it's already torpor running I suspect that um, this torpor bar was probably still active what I don't want to do is damage it so much that it ends up curling, curling into a ball again as you can see it's starting to get bloody so I'll just be careful about the shots Is that a raptor? It is. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't hit the dodig. Um, and we'll just jump on one. Oh, avoid the jump. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this dodig's going to take it too much. shots and we should have it. It's interesting colours. I don't know if it's aberrant colours. It says it's an aberrant. Yeah. But I don't know if the aberrant colours also affect the event colours. So but yeah, it's definitely interesting colour. Okay. There we go. Good, just get some food. And I'm just going to grab this shine horn. It's the first one I've come across. Uh, no, it's only a level 15, but here yeah, I found a half decent female. We can imprint them, get their charge radius a bit higher. But, oh, gotta love the shine horns. quite easy to get all of the light pets so I'll tame some and we'll experiment with some breeding on them okay our dodic shouldn't be too long gonna go with the patron naming rights again and Cyrus thank you very much for your support on patron and stats wise four and a half thousand health Wait, nearly 400. I think that's a pretty reasonable doe dick. Definitely good enough for what we need to do around the base. But we finally managed to find you uh, an in-game name, Cyrus. So thank you very much for your support. Okay, so let's head back to base. We've now got our cryopods. And... Where are we? Oh, just down here. So, now I still need to get a couple more utility dinos. I'd like to get a bear in order to get honey. And then we need honey to get ourselves a roll rat. And they are just the ultimate way of getting wood. Carcanus there. Now, I don't think that was a level 20. I did spot a 140. I don't know if it's around still. Just have a look but even though that wouldn't be essential for us to complete the game I still want to tame one and it might be a big ask to try and tame one in the next episode because we really need to be able to make a catapult and a special sort of structure to be able to grab a Kokonus but got to be able to knock it out so we are a high enough level to obviously make the saddle because we're using our ascended character but still the resources we'd need to tame it and it looks like it's still there I mean it's tempting we need to do so much of course but it's so tempting when you see Ooh, that'd be a nice level and I'm sure it would come in very very handy and if it's still there perhaps that's something to think about going to get 
return back to base. Okay, where have you gone, Raptors? Follow me. I think we've made quite a bit of progress here today. And we managed to get to our base location without incident. It's the most important thing. And I really don't think that gathering metal is going to be too much of a problem from this position. So I may even consider building some of the base out of metal. I mean, I use stone and wood in the season one. We've used adobe in season two. So perhaps a bit more of a modern type build would go quite well in this area. A bit more of an open plan area. Okay, so we'll just get our Dodix and Cyrus. And of course, we've got our Shine Horn. Which still needs to give a name to. And, oh, totally forgot about the cryo sickness. Of course, I don't have that switched on on the community server. Um, but again, we'll go with the patron name rights. And again, Shiny, thank you very much, Shiny B, for your support on Patreon. And there you go. You can have the Shine Horn. I know you like the Shine Horn, Shiny. But again, thank you very much, everybody. We also tamed Cat's Devil as well. Can't forget. We've done quite well for tames today. And I think we'll make a cut in today's episode right about there. I think we've made quite a bit of progress and managed to add a few essential members to the team. There is, of course, still plenty to tame and do. And we've got a big hill to climb if we're going to get through and complete aberration. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So until then, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.